We at Volvo have launched six very interesting uh, advanced technologies uh, that will be available in, in our coming cars, in our SPA platform. We have pedestrian detection in darkness. Pedestrian detection in darkness is the next step evaluation of our unique pedestrian detection with full auto brake. And using a more sensitive camera, we now have the capability also of detecting pedestrians in darkness. And the car can, in, in situations where a collision is likely, warn the driver uh, for a collision. And if the driver does not respond, then the car will uh, automatically apply the brakes. Uh, we have animal detection with full auto brake. Animal detection is a new functionality where we use advanced radar and camera technology in order to uh, detect animals on the side of the road. And here we're talking large animals like mooses, elks and large deers. And uh, when the car senses that there is an animal and the collision is likely, it will actually warn the driver with an audible uh, and visual signal. And if the driver does not respond to that warning, then the car will actually brake itself. And applying steering, we have two interesting technologies. Uh, one being adaptive cruise control with steer assist. Adaptive cruise control with steer assist is actually a next step in semi-autonomous driving uh, that we will be offering. And here, uh, today we offer adaptive cruise control so the car will actually regulate uh, the speed and the distance to the car in front and keep the distance to the car in front. Here we're actually also applying steering so that uh, it can help the driver to follow another car in certain situations. And another one being our road edge and barrier detection with steer assist. Road edge and barrier detection with steer assist is a unique world first technology from Volvo where we use again advanced radar and camera technology in order to monitor the road's edge or, or barriers. And if the car senses that the, the, uh, it's drifting towards the road edge or towards the, uh, the barrier, then the car will actually steer itself back into the lane, assisting the driver to stay on the road. We're also preparing our next generation of cars for car-to-car -car communication and car-to-infrastructure uh, communication. If you look at today's car, uh, we've given them intelligence. They, 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 can, they can see and they can also sense what the driver is doing or not doing. Uh, the next very important step for us will be when start, car starts to communicate. And here we are showcasing some functionalities uh, where we believe that information to the driver or to the car uh, will enable not only safer driving, but also driving that could be more environmental friendly. It can be used also to, to further enhance the traffic flow, uh, etc. So this is a very important technology base for us. And we're also on our path towards autonomous drive, uh, launching a, a self-parking car. Uh, which is of course both a convenience for feature but which is also related to safety. Autonomous parking is a very interesting technology base that we're showing here and it's actually a first scenario where we believe that we can offer a self-driving car. What's interesting for this, which is of course a very convenient feature in terms that the car can look for a parking spot on its own, park itself and then when you want your car the car will drive and pick you up. Uh, it's a very convenient and interesting concept but what's interesting for us from a safety perspective is that the car in this situation needs to be able to interact in a safe way with other road users.